Hello everyone, it's Shay Rounds with Austin Underground and I'm here today with Charlie Fay herself of Charlie Fay and the Fayettes. How did you guys get started? Uh, well, I had the idea to do kind of a retro soul girl group because I was writing songs kind of in that style and, um, and I told my best friend Betty Sue about the idea and so she was immediately like, well, I want to be in that group. <laughs> Um, and then we found our third member, Akina Adderley, and uh, it was just magic. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, how would you say that your sort of roots in Austin have um, maybe affected like your trajectory or maybe your sound or style? Um, well, I think when I first came to Austin, I was playing more Americana oh, cool. style um, music, and that's what drew me to Austin in the first place. But um, Austin's such an amazing place to kind of grow and develop as an artist, so I feel like I've really had the space and freedom to find my sound here. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. So you uh, talked briefly about Americana, but what, what else maybe has inspired your style? Um, so my current style is definitely uh, inspired by the girl groups of the 60s. Um, so... Charlie Faye and the Fayettes is kind of like a modern day Ronettes or Supremes type band. Um, but I'm influenced by a lot of music from that era. So, um, like the whole Stax catalog, I'm really into. Um, and yeah, all the soul and pop music from the 60s. That, that's awesome. I, I really like you guys' unique style and look and you're very colorful. I, I like the imaging especially for your, Thank you. for your group. Um, <laughs> let's see, so your, your most recent album, The Whole Shebang, came out uh, about a month ago. Um, maybe what are some stories or your favorite songs or little aspects of the, of the album that you'd like to share? Hmm. Well, we did all the basic tracking for the record in Los Angeles um, because some of my favorite musicians are out there. Pete Thomas, the drummer who plays with Elvis Costello and has forever. Um, Marcus Watkins, who's one of my favorite guitar players. Um, and then my bass player and producer, Eric Holden. Um, so, yeah, we did the basic tracking in L.A. and then came back here to do all the vocals. So me and the girls came into the studio here and did all the vocals in just a few days. Oh, wow. Yeah. That, that's awesome. Um, so you guys have had multiple album releases, um, multiple South By appearances. You've been on tour. Uh, what, what do you kind of foresee in the horizon? What are you looking forward to? What are some goals for your group? Um, well, we've gotten a couple of songs in TV shows and, and had a couple of songs licensed for cool things like that. And I'm really looking forward to more of that. I feel like, um, you know, the kind of music we make works for that kind of thing. And also, it's really one of the best ways to make a living in today's music industry now that, you know, CDs aren't selling anymore. Awesome, awesome. That, that's a really cool and interesting kind of avenue to go forward. Um, so you're in like a creative performing group. What do you think are like really cool or like your favorite aspects of being part of a, a group that does live performances and, and like you, you get to use your creativity? What, what are kind of like your, your favorite parts of that? Um, well, as far as live performances go, it's just amazing to be able to put out this energy to the audience and have it come back to you. And the music we play is all about like fun and good energy. So I really feel that, you know, going back and forth between us and the audience and that feels great. Um, and as far as like being in a creative industry, to me, one of the best parts is being surrounded by other interesting creative people. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, that's really cool. Um, what would you say to maybe young creative people or people with a creative passion that are watching this? Um, it might take you a while to start making a living doing it. And you have to be okay with that. I think don't worry too much about it because people who decide it's not that important to them to take it a creative path will just uh, gradually fall off the path and start doing something that's, you know, a little easier to make a living at. But if it is your thing, you might threaten to quit. You might say, like, if I don't make a decent living at this by the time I hit this age, but, you know, 
you might just keep going. That's what happened to me. So <laughs> that's awesome. That, that's a really cool story, and I think that's good advice for people watching. Well, you were a pleasure to interview, and you, you're really inspired and hardworking, and I think that's really cool, and I wish your group the best of luck with whatever comes next. Do you have any um, social medias that you want to plug or upcoming events sure. that you want to... Yeah, I mean, we're on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all the places you might find us. You can also stream our music on Spotify, um, and again, find it wherever you find your music. Um, when does this come out? Um, it'll be airing probably on one of our live shows and posted on our website, Austin Underground. Um, so yeah, you can find us at our Twitter and our Instagram at Austin Underground. Thank you guys for watching and um, go check out our social media. <laughs>